Joel cries and grabs other children's food at lunch and snack time. The staff completed a functional behavior assessment and determined Joel was trying to obtain desired food items but did not have the communication skills to do so. They designed a lunchbox display that Joel could use as a choice board for vocabulary and choice making specific to lunch and snacks. He was taught to point to the appropriate pictures and begin to cooperate and enjoy these times of day. The Mayor Johnson Company offers communication displays for engineered preschool environments, which includes displays for classroom routines like lunchtime and more. Participants may want to investigate this resource. Jenny is struggling with hitting classmates during playtime. Results of an FBA indicated Jenny was trying to obtain attention from her peers. She was provided with a single message voice output device housed in a stuffed animal that said, Hey, play with me. This was practiced with adults and peers until everyone understood the communication. The stuffed animal was found at a department store after Christmas sale and is a good example of using items readily available to provide low-tech AAC. The user presses one paw to record and the other to play. Easy enough for most preschoolers. It was determined that Molly did not have the communication skills to ask for something to play with. Her paraeducator provided a choice board with pictures of possible playtime activities. The pictures were velcroed onto a dollar store cutting board and Molly was taught to either exchange the picture for a toy or to simply point to the toy she wanted. Providing a communicative alternative to challenging behavior won't target every problem but will support many of our students who are letting us know what they need and what they want with their behaviors. This is called Functional Communication Training, or FCT, and is an important strategy in our repertoire. This concludes Day 3 of the Project Access Early Intervention for Young Children with Autism Training. Thank you for completing the workshop thus far. You'll need to successfully complete the Day 3 assessment online at least prior to attending Day 4 in person when we'll be talking about evidence-based practice.